southwest, so it means it will be blowing from the right to your left on the screen. The kickers will have some difficulty going into that wind, but overall, if it stays sunny and in the teens, it's going to be quite pleasant. Irv Cross, what about the players? <laughs> Brent, the players will have the best seat in the house. I'm sitting on the hot seat on the Redskins bench, and take a look at this temperature gauge. The Fahrenheit reading on the outside is 90 degrees. This hot seat I'm sitting on where the players put their feet inside, the temperature gets up as high as 200 degrees. And the seat itself gets between 100 and 120 degrees, so they'll be very comfortable. Now, when they're off the hot seat and walking around the field like some of the kickers oftentimes do, they'll wear an insulated boot to keep their feet warm. So the players will be very comfortable today. You know, so it's almost like uh, Miami Beach down here as far as they're concerned. But they'll also be wearing various clothing. Uh, I guess you can call these long johns. Keep your legs warm, huh? And also uh, gloves that for the linemen as well as receivers. The receivers will, will wear these type insulated gloves. So it's a tacky service. They can hold to the ball much easier and keep their hands warm as well. Now, another feature that you won't see today, that I think is very important to keeping players warm, is this little hot pack. When you activate this hot pack, it turns from a liquid to a solid. Take a look at that. And it gets to about body temperature and stays warm for about an hour. So as long as you're a football player in Soldier Field today, and by the way, both teams have the same facilities on each sideline, you're going to be quite comfortable. Brent? Irv, as you might expect, when I visited the two locker rooms, the players were still abuzz with what happened yesterday in San Francisco. This was the reaction of some of the Redskins and the Bears to that stunning upset. I think uh, kind of adds a little bit extra excitement to the game, uh, knowing whoever wins this one not only advances, but uh, goes back home for the championship game. I know we want this one awful bad, and if you go inside this locker room, we don't care about next week, we care about today. I think home field advantage is going to mean a lot to both teams. Of course, the Bears would love to get home field advantage themselves, and, and we would too. So it's, this kind of game here is going to go all the way down to the wire. We'll see who bite the dust. There's also a couple of quarterback stories here. Jim McMahon returns for the Bears. And for Washington, Joe Gibbs has turned it over to Doug Williams today. Now, a man who is familiar with past quarterback controversies in Washington, Sonny Jurgensen, he's with Jimmy the Greek. Let's go to the Greek. Hey, Brent, I got Sonny Hall of Famer. He's had a few controversies in quarterbacks. Tell us about the one in Washington, Sonny. Jimmy, I really don't think there's a controversy there uh, as far as Doug Williams and Jay Schrader. It was just a matter of Coach Gibbs and the staff getting some production from the quarterback position. Jay wasn't doing it. He was in a slump. They put in Doug Williams, and he performed. He brought him back against the, the Minnesota Vikings. Yeah, but Williams is 0-2 starting and 3-0 and coming in. There's a little different pressure on you when you're a starter. There's a lot of responsibility as far as leading the team. Coming off the bench is no pressure. You're only getting in the game because the guy that was playing was playing poorly. Well, that's my question, because there's some talks of, of Williams being a little bit on the choke side. Well, I, don't, I wouldn't suggest that in any way. I think that, that today he's got to make the plays. If he doesn't play well today, look for Joe Gibbs to Who go back like to Schrader. I like the Redskins. I think if they can get the matchups in the secondary against their little receivers, they can win this football game. Okay, Bert, you got it. All right, Greg, thank you. When we come back, we'll hear from John Madden and Pat Summerall in just a moment. <laughs> 